Right, okay. And uh, in line with the summit theme, we have a very interesting topic coming up. This is the vision for the future from the industry perspective, and we have a very special person to talk on this. Put your hands together and welcome Mr. V. Ganesh, CEO Carvi. And uh, let me request uh, Mr. Tirumurugan to escort him onto the stage, please. And uh, let me request uh, Mr. Tirumurugan to felicitate uh, Mr. Ganesh with a ponade, a traditional shawl. And let's show some love and encouragement by clapping, please. A small brief about um, Mr. Ganesh. He has over 23 years of experience in the financial industry and is part of the Carvey Group leadership team. At Carvey, in the last two decades, Ganesh has been instrumental in building a strong techno-commercial base with emphasis on establishing a pan-India network. His engagements with leading domestic and global financial services firms has provided him with a rare mix of business management, strategy, people management, and financial management skills. Over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you. That already took away two minutes of mine. So it's always a pleasure to come here to Chennai, although I have not been born and brought up here and uh, uh, attend this meet. I must congratulate all of you for the scale up that it has done. I think this time it is uh, for two days and that too in a very special place like this. And I wish all the executive committee the very best for the next one as well and why not go international. So yes, why not Singapore? Yeah. So vanakkam uh, and nalvartikal to all of you. <clears throat> I have a difficult topic and I guess difficulties come very naturally to the registrar and transfer agent. As I speak, I have only about 12 minutes or so left and a registrar and transfer agent for some historic reason are always last in the race and they have to rush to get things going, so I'll be as fast as I can to do justice to the role that has been given to me. Uh, so that's, I'm going to talk about digital and I guess a lot of people have spoken about it, but it's very important that we keep reiterating what digital world is. And I will take you through a short quiz uh, as, as uh, Samant uh, presented, uh, right from 1960 onwards the digital has been spoken about. But I'll take you through a short quiz on what digital is. Before that, one of the key things that we would tell to our people about five years back would be the writing is on the wall. In terms of a defeat or a challenge, now if you write on the wall, you're writing on the wall of Facebook. So the terms have coined, got a new meaning and a lot of changes are happening over time, whether it's tablets or tweets or FaceTime or cloud or blogs, uh, the social network which has bought down governments, uh, phishing, spam and writing on the wall. If I were to take you through a small quiz as to who sells the largest number of cameras in India, is it Sony, is it Canon, is it Nikon? Who sells the largest number of, Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming to the answers. Don't worry, there are three more questions and then the, we will seek the answers. Who sells the largest number of, who sells, who runs the biggest music business in India? Is it Sony, T-Series and others? Who's the largest competitor of Indigo Airlines? Is it Jet? Is it Indian Airlines? Is it SpiceJet? I think revelation time, I know many of you know the answers and that itself shows the maturity of the crowd here. It's not Nikon, Canon, it's all about Samsungs and Apples which are selling more cameras today than anybody else in the marketplace. It's not about music being provided by Sony's of the world but music now comes from internet and most of you would have registered, got online apps on Ghana.com and I'm not here to promote Ghana but one of the most popular apps. And who's a competitor of Indigo? Today, travel can be avoided and many people have indeed avoided it because IFA Galaxy has chosen to webcast the whole thing. So there is teleconference, there is video conference solutions that are available and airline industries are challenged with that. 
If I were to go to the next step, what is common among all these? Common among all these is the technology and the ability to techno integrate technology with process. And I think we are all struggling to do that. We are all trying to bring in efficiency to do that, whether it's a mobile application, whether it's a tablet application, whether you want to set your customer account in, say, not less than five minutes. That's the way the world is changing. And what, is, uh, what do the data tell us? Why should we be in the digital world? There are, as I speak, by the end of 2015, 330 million people, that's about 25, 30% of the Indian population who will be waiting for convenience on the internet. Within internet, if someone were to go to mobile internet, that is what is taking the Indian country by storm. And within the mobile internet, there is about 314 people by 2017 who will look at internet only from the mobile, not from their laptops and desktops and so on. And what is happening further is what we often speak about as disruptive technologies. What is disruptive technologies? Today, as I speak, in the UK, there is a bank that has been approved by the central bank there, which has no branches. That's called Atom Bank. You can look up in the website and see. They, they drive their business with no branches, no website, and just an app. Take it to the next level, there are hotels that are coming up all over the place, which has no, no staff, but just robots, and no keys to get into the room, just your biometric to get in. So that's the way the world is changing. I'll give you some more examples uh, before I move to the next slide. Today, most of the cars, at least the higher end cars, and I'm sure in, in a period of time it will come to the lower end models also, come with what is known as predictive capability. So they will tell you that your engine oil is going to give you trouble in about 50 kilometers. Your brake pad is going to give you trouble in the next 200 kilometers. Your uh, brake fluid is going to impact you in the next 500 kilometers. Your tire is going to struggle, is going to uh, break away in the next thousand kilometers. And there were days that we all have lived, most of us in this room have lived, where we said service standard is 20 days, 25 days, and we have now brought it down to 24 hours. We have brought it down to 48 hours, 72 hours, and so on, and we take a lot of pride. But believe me, that's no good service. What we need now is the ability to predict what the customer would anticipate. There are restaurant chains, there is one item that I'm going to talk about, which is iBeacon, where technologies are truly disruptive. Imagine a situation where you go to a restaurant, have some food with your family, and you are there back again after three months, and the ex restaurant exactly knows what you consume, what your likes and dislikes are, which seat do you prefer, and what kind of food you would want to take with your family. That's the way the world is moving. Imagine a situation that, you know, uh, God forbid, one of your, one of your uh, family members or friends, relatives, whatever is pretty sick, and you go to a CT scan, and finally the scanner breaks down with a lot more radiation on the human being when he's supposed to get it done in, within a few minutes. But if the CT scan and some of the large suppliers like Siemens, X-ray scanners can be remotely monitored, like a network monitoring center, and tracked for what could go wrong potentially within that particular scanner, so that when you are in the hospital and that's the most critical time, you don't face any unknown trouble. So that is the ability to predict. That's the ability to predicate. That's the ability to provide service even before the, what the customer wants. And if we are able to bring that differential in the mutual fund industry, and all of us are trying in different ways, you with your customers, I as a service provider for you all, etc., and my competition and so on, we're all trying to bring that change. The ability to predicate is very, very critical today. I don't know how many in the mutual fund industry, manufacturers, go and tell their customers, like Amazon, you know, customers who bought this product, equity product, also bought this equity product. I have personal experience, and many of you would be better off than me, 
when I bought a clock in Amazon, a simple 500 rupee clock. Within a week, I was told that you could buy these clocks as well. They also look good. They are also at the price band that you are looking at. So he has tracked that I can't pay more than 500. He has tracked that I can be, uh, I will be interested in more clocks, and he positions those clocks for me. How much of predictive selling are we doing today in the marketplace? <clears throat> so let me move on. Uh, today, if you see what happens in the marketplace in terms of usage trends, till about five, seven years back, it is email, email, email. Now email is in the third place. SMSs have taken over, social media has taken over, and then comes email in terms of usage. And this is very interesting, the slide that I'm going to show is about media consumption. Last five years, which is the industry which has grown the most? Internet-based media. Almost all the other medias, be it outdoor, television, cinema, radio, magazines, have all gone negative. They have shown negative growth year on year over the last five years. So where do you want to be? You want to be in the space where there's growth, right? Customers have also migrated fully to these. How many of you go to film theaters to book tickets? I seldom go. I'm sure many of you seldom go. You, you go online, you go buy flip from Flipkart, clear trip and so on. And so much so, I thought this could be interesting for the Chennai crowd. There's even something called as Cooper30.com. Where you can tell them to come and take the rubbish. And people are learning from Kupa 30 to create Kachra Dabba in Pune. That's where the world has moved. And if you create a lot of junk at your home, normally it costs money to dispose them. And here they are coming for free and even paying you the money. Customers have gone digital. And where are we? There's one very important thing that I have learned and I thought I should share with you all is what is known as the zero moment of truth which is Z-Mot. What, what does that mean? That means that even before you go to a store, you're very clear on what you want to buy. You're not searching in the store what you want to buy. You have done your internet check. You have done your mobile app. You know this is your shoe size. You know this is the apparel that you want to pick up. You know this looks good. And you know this is the refrigerator you want to buy. You just go to the store and tell them and the transaction is over in exactly two minutes. Or you could buy online as well. <clears throat> so the technology roadmap coming to our industry is about platform development. We spoke about a lot about platform, support for sales, customer empowerment, experience management, service integration. There are several things that go with it. Increase the touch points of customer service, big data and bigger analytics. Ability to track from the three and a half crore customers that live in this world, in the mutual fund industry, what they are wanting, what they bought, why they didn't buy for the last one year, what is it that interests them, are we giving them the returns that they want, is all about big data. <clears throat> Using new payment channel and internet of things. Internet of Things is most important. I think that's something which is occupying mind and space all over the place. So today you have washing machine at home, you have a dishwasher at home, you have a refrigerator at home, you can remotely control all of that. You can say that all these things are now connected on the internet and I have a tablet in front of me which kind of takes me through the whole process of connecting, when to switch on the refrigerator, when to switch on the dishwasher, when am I coming home, when to open the door automatically, is where the whole world is moving to. I have another three minutes, right? Two minutes, okay. So here we go. So customer empowerment is all about visual IVR, service channels of choice, virtual digital assistants, the iBeacons that I spoke about, and creating stronger loyalty management platforms. Which then takes us into sales support, which is big data, better analytics, investment products and e-commerce platform, and also creating very strong loyalty management platforms. Uh, and when loyalty management platforms comes in, it's about NPS. NPS is not new pension scheme of PFRDA. NPS is net promoter score which is that you will be constantly tracked in terms of the service that you're offering, what points you want to give, and we have ratings all over the place. Whether we buy a product online, whether we go to a film and want to see the ratings for the film, it's all about net promoter score, how much you have scored, are you getting a four star rating, a five star rating, and so on. 
Some products, this is not to promote Carvi, I'm not here for that. Our competition has an equally good product. Uh, this is about fund side. As much as we deliver for manufacturers, we also deliver for distributors to help them analyze. For example, somebody in Chennai can say, I did so much SIP in Chennai. Can I know what the others did all over the place? Is there an opportunity for me to check how much Chennai did as a whole? How much Trichnapalli did as a whole? Madurai did as a whole? That's available now through Fundside. We have brochures lying outside. You can register and log in and track. Uh, coming to K-Track, this is a mobile application that runs on Android. We are still to come up with the Apple version. I hope this month we will be able to be done with it. Again, that's a very useful product for you to sell, buy, track your customers and so on. And there are several other conveniences like missed call services, SMS services, and distributor web services. To sum up, uh, customer preferences are changing fast. There are very clear needs for new product development. Adoption of technology by all of you is very critical for your own success, for the success of the industry. And capturing customer preferences is perhaps the start point. What I told you about the restaurant, what I told you about predicating customer needs, etc. And somebody like Isaac, Sir Isaac Newton has said this several centuries back, which is relevant even today. To myself, I am only a child playing on the beach while the vast ocean lies undiscovered in front of me. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I'm sure by this time our audience are all tech savvy and uh, sir, I gave you back the two minutes that you asked for. Thank you so much. And uh, let me request Mr. Satish Kumar to kindly come on stage and present a memento to Mr. Ganesh as a token of our gratitude. We are so happy that you're with us today. May I request you to come to the center stage, please? We all want to have a look. Can we come to the center stage? May I request you to come to the center stage and uh, audience, can we give a huge round of applause? That was indeed the vision for the future from the industry perspective by Mr. V. Ganesh. Thank you, sir.